Okay, so even though we talked about source transformation, I don't think I've done a full example just on that can be um, where source, source transformation can be leveraged. So this is an example. Find I11, and I11 is this in red here going to the left on the 11K resistor. Until uh, the end of the, you know, until the first midterm, all you could do is define ground and do nodal analysis or define several meshes here and do mesh analysis. Um, now with source transformation, if you see, let's see, these uh, current supplies are not very good here, huh? Um, let me see, 0 0.5 milliamps and 2.5 milliamps. Um, so now if you see resistors in series, I mean in parallel, you can merge them as well as uh, these current sources. If there were voltage supplies in series, we could also merge them. Eventually these two will be in series. So we're also going to use the um, resistors there are, uh, that are shorted out, we're going to not consider in our analysis. And so there are several resistors here that have the node, you know, on this side, this is the node, this is the same node there and here. So because this 4K is shorted out, I'm not going to use it. Same thing with the 8K, same thing with the 13K, same thing with the 12K. So these are all shorted out resistors, and if there were resistors that were, um, you know, like this, for example, a 22K here and a 33K here, they would be open, and that's why we talked about open and short open resistors and shorted out resistors. We're also not going to consider them. So I hope that's so far straightforward. What is not maybe straightforward is to use source transformation. And so what happens in source transformation is that if you can find two nodes, and I'm going to draw this um, green node here, and the orange node here, well, this is already like pink there, this orange node, and I have current supplies and uh, resistors that are in parallel, I can make them go into um, a resistor in series with a voltage supply. So I'm going to redraw only this green and, and orange part, which is going to be a 2 milliamp current supply going down, and a resistor here that's 3K in parallel with 7K, and this has more circuit to this side. But 3 times 7 is 21, divided by 10 is 2.1k. So this here between the green and the orange, I'm sorry for the background noise here, um, is the same as this, but also I'm going to further simplify it. I'm going to say that also between the orange and the green, I'm going to keep those two nodes there, green and orange. This is super critical. On exams, people uh, miss this way of um, drawing the nodes, and then it gets all very complicated. So people miss points because of this. So this is equivalent to the same resistor, and the voltage is going to be 2.1 times 2, which is 4.2 volts. So now this circuit here, or this equivalent circuit, will be re uh, added to this part here. And then I'm going to copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this. But instead of the 5 milli, oh, I don't have that many other colors. Instead of the 5 milli and 1K, now I'm going to make this pink and red. Instead of the pink and red there, 5K and 1K, I'm sorry, 5 million 1K, I will have the pluses on the side of the arrow. This is still 1K, 
this will be 5 volts because it's 5 milli times 1k. So this I'm going to use for this part of the circuit here. And then for this part here, the dash, uh oh, the dash part is also 2 milli and 2k. So now I'm going to draw here the equivalent of that, which is going to be 2k and 2 milli. When you ask, does it matter? If the 2k is on the left side, on the right side, it does not matter. You can put it on either side, and this is 4 volts. So you can switch even after when you draw. You can draw it all some other way. So these are all my sub circuits that I will use to redraw this whole thing. So you see the 8k here eventually will be in series with everyone. But right now, as it is, it's not in series with the voltage supply, so I cannot use source transformation on it. The 11K is in series with the five volts, but um, it's in my interest to keep this as is because the I11 is what I'm interested in. So basically, if I am focusing on one branch of the circuit, this here is my most important branch. This is like that ring from Lord of the Rings. It's super precious. I don't want to let go of that one. So when I draw it, actually you can even start get started by drawing that one 11K ohm resistor. So this 11K is my most important branch and that 11 is what I want. Everything else I'm going to build around it. Um, so this is the five volts. And now instead of the 2 milli and the 2K, I'm gonna use this 2K and four. Now I'm gonna keep going. Now here's the 8K, I'm gonna copy it. And now instead of the 5 milli and the 1K, I'm gonna use the, oh, wrong. I will use the uh, five volts and 1K. So I'm copying this here instead of the five million 1K. And the nine volts, I did nothing with it. So I'm gonna leave it there. And there's another 1K and I'm gonna copy it. And now the 8K is not there. So all that I have is that green node. And here I have the yellow orange node. And between these two, I have a 4.2 pointing down. And then I have a 2.1K resistor here. So I hope you can see how much simpler this circuit now is. Now I can do this with a single KVL. Uh, I can find the uh, this uh, voltage here. It's all the same current. Actually, I can find the current and I'm going to assume this current is going this way. So I'm going to keep assuming it's this way this way and this way. Actually, I can add all these resistors. So it's going to be 2.1 plus 2 is 4.1 plus 8 is 12.1 14.1 plus 11 is 25.1k is the sum of all of them times I11. This is the voltage drop. But now for KVL, I'm going to start here. KVL. It's going to be plus. So I already did all the resistors. 4.2 volts minus 9 plus 5 minus 4. Oops, plus 4 uh, plus, five, plus 5 equals 0. So now I have one equation and one variable. And that should make it easy. Uh, 5 plus 5 is 10, 14, 18.2 minus 9. This is like 9.2, but on, I put on the other side of the equal sign is minus. I11 will be this divided by 25.1k, which is minus 3, almost 3, maybe less than 3 milliamps. So hopefully you see that I can still have made mistakes, of course, but 
i11 is much easier than if you had used nodal or mesh to solve the circuit um, i hope this is clear but if it's not please let me know um, where your questions are and I'll, I'll attempt to provide another video to clarify them um, but source transformation is super powerful if you can use it in the right way if you do use it in the right way